Hey there, YouTube friends. It's Rainy from No Idle Hands. How have you been? Um, here we are on Monday, Labor Day, um, September 5th, 2022. Um, I was off yesterday and today. And today it is raining on this Labor Day, so I have done nothing but sleep. Um... But that's per my usual. I sleep all day and stay up all night. So, um, yeah, it's 58 degrees and raining. Fall is officially kind of back here in May. And, um, it's been kind of nice, really, a change from the, you know, heat, what little of it there was. Um, just been busy with everything. Um, not a whole lot. I mean, I still crochet or knit every day. I've not gotten anything done in the way of my, my knitting tutorial that I've been working on. Um, just haven't. Trying to pack up and I'm finding all these little unfinished projects that I started, you know, that I just kind of put down and forgot about. So I'm either going to frog them or finish them. I'm not starting anything new because I have 20... 26 days left here in Bangor um, one of the f unfinished projects I haven't really shared it with you guys because I wanted to make sure that it was going to stick but I think it's going to stick um, you know because I, I I save my tail ends from everything I've just not I don't waste yarn and you know even even the very very small small tail ends I will put in a ziploc bag and save for stuffing. I mean, I will clip, 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 you know, and make it f fluffy and furry and um, use it for stuffing and things. So, but anything that's long enough to tie to something else gets put in a magic ball. Um, or it just kind of sits around and I, I, cause I'm not one to throw away yarn. Not even the tiniest little scraps get thrown away unless it is beyond help. So, um, there was a little bit of that with the peppermint twist, but it, it was more a time thing because I mean, I could have salvaged a lot more of that yarn than I did, but anyway, without further ado, this project here is all my scraps from Bengal. Well, not all of my scraps, but pretty much, um, so, you know, I can look back and say, oh, that was a baby blanket. That's that and that right there and that right there all went in the same baby blanket. Um, that was a hat and that was a hat. Um, this was a hat here. Let's see. Can't remember. I know I made coasters out of that. But it seems like I made something else can't remember. I know I was working on a, a loom hat at one point with that. Let's see what else have I got in here. I know there was some like blue. Let's see. This was from some flower coasters I started. Actually, that was like April right there. So that was Easter. And then there's some more blue. Maybe this right up here. This blue right here. It's a little bit different than the blue below it. That was for more from the Arnie and Carlos um, crochet along that just resulted in coasters. <laughs> That's yeah. I'm I'm guilty, like everyone else. I am guilty. I I start things and with the best of intentions to finish them, and I don't because I lose interest or I find something else that I like. <sighs> Oh, sorry. Like better. Um, but anyway, so that is, those are my Bangor scraps and I have been saving my white from various projects. So probably when I get back to Missouri, I will put that white band in just to make sure that all of the colored scraps are in first. Um, before I start on any, you know, 
anything else. So any scraps incurred here in Bangor are going into that block. And then the white band when I get back home to my next contract, which by the way is in Springfield, Missouri. I'll be there from October 17th until January 14th, I believe. So yeah. Um, so I don't know if I, I just don't know the plans yet. I just know that's where the new contract is and it's a system I've worked for before. So I am familiar with the EMR. That's half the battle right there. Um, it's just getting to know the facility and the policies at that particular hospital. But as I have worked for that hospital system before policies don't typically change from hospital to hospital. I mean, little things do, but general policies don't. So one of the reasons I chose that particular facility, even though I've not worked in Springfield before. Oh, so sorry. Anyway, so I have also been working on the baby blanket, which was underneath the scraps. And I've gotten, let's see, I think I was about right here or so from the last time we talked. And, the, and bear in mind, this is only a quarter of it. So it's double the length and double the width because it's a square. So it's just too big to get in the frame. And as I said, I haven't been working on the hat tutorial. Um, I have other things going on with my GoPro right now. I'm trying to carefully extract all my Booth Bay stuff. And um, still working on that because it's very difficult to be a YouTube person and work a full-time job. <laughs> so in case you missed that. Okay. So I had a live and I don't know what happened to it from Booth Bay Harbor, uh, last Tuesday. And I'm just not sure whether the YouTube people didn't think it was appropriate or what, because I mean, they let me air, I mean, it was live and then it was gone. I don't know if it just didn't process correctly or what the deal was, but anyway, hubby and I, Last Tuesday, I went on an exploration. You know, we just got in the car and drove. We didn't pack a bag or anything. The only thing I had was my knitting, my small knitting project that I, you know, because if I'm in the car for any length of time, I like to knit. And um, I had my GoPro because I was filming main scenery. Anytime we explore, I like to take the GoPro. And so we ended up in Booth Bay Harbor about two hours from here. We just ended up spending the night um, and coming home the next day. But uh, I tried to get some stuff, some footage and um, pictures and things. And I'll try to get those put together, which is actually currently, hold on. See right now I am importing stuff. Oh, hey, see, there's my messy house from where I was packing yesterday. So I am trying very delicately to transfer my Booth Bay stuff from my GoPro to my computer so I can video edit. As I said, I'm a one woman show somewhere along the way here. Recently, I've said that um, I do all, all of my own videoing and editing and producing and all of that, um, in between work. <clears throat> and so went to Booth Bay, got home, went back to work. So I've had work in there in between and I have just not, just not until today. Um, usually my first day off, which was yesterday is spent like just, um, decompressing and sleeping. It is not easy to be a nurse in the, this time. So it's a lot about self care on the first day off. And of late it's been, you know, just one day off. So I've not been getting a lot done, but anyway, neither here nor there. So, um, 
I did start another project. I'm not going to show it to you just yet. It is a, and I will try to put the link down below. I'll try to remember to do that. Um, it's a, a crochet along and the, it is a garden gardening themed crochet along where there are patterns released. It's okay. So it's a community crochet along it's garden themed, I guess a bunch of different makers. Not sure if that's the correct word artist. Not sure if that's the correct word either. Anyway, people with blogs that make patterns. That's, that's their name. Um, different groups, different people are making patterns. That's what's making this a community crochet along patterns are released Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll try to remember to hashtag them. So maybe they'll see this or something. Um, anyway, I have started the first block. It's going to be kind of difficult until I get home because I don't want to buy any more yarn. Um, it's amazing how much yarn I've already amassed since I've been here. Yeah. Remember me with my suitcase left in Missouri and no, no yarn to work on. Well, okay. I've remedied that like two plastic totes over plus three actually hold on. Here's one right here. So that is all newly acquired yarn. That's one of those little ones. And that's just for the crochet long. I mean, I, some of that was not just for the crochet long. Some of that was supposed to be hats which I'm not going to get finished before I leave. Um, I am still working on hats at about 20. So I think I've done good. It's 20 more hats that they wouldn't have had. But anyway, back to the crochet along. Um, so the first block is a carrot. So I actually did go and buy some orange yarn because I didn't have any. Um, I already had like the green and I did buy some Aran yarn because I don't like working with white. White is not, there's a little, sorry, there's a bug. Um, I don't like working with white. I just don't. So I got some Aran to go for the background. Um, like I said, I already had the green. So the carrot is two shades of orange, green and Aran. And I'm trying to use, when I get back home to Missouri, <laughs> to my stash, I have more than, I, I guess I have all the colors I need. So I'm just doing what I need to get through. I'm just using what I need to get or buying what I need to get through until then. And I may have to put some blocks off until I get home. But, um, so carrot block was first. That was last Friday. It started on the second. Um, I'm about not a halfway, maybe a third of the way through the first block. Second block came out today. It was a trowel, which I've got gray and I've got brown. I've got green. I think we've got all the colors for the second block. Um, so yeah. And then well, as you saw, I was packing um, in that lovely little photo. My house was a mess. My husband asked me what I was up to yesterday evening. And I said, I'm packing. You know, we've only got 25 days left. Well, yesterday it was 26, but. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of like a countdown to home. So in between work, I'm slowly packing up the things that I think I will not use, which I'm trying to pack up all of my crafting stuff. Um, just because I don't want to start any more new projects. I need to finish or frog everything I've got going on. So, you know, just gotta, gotta do it. Nothing, no, no more new projects until I get home. I say that, but I, I kind of have to mean that because packing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the life and my husband is like, you know, I'm all for you. I love you. I support you. I will take care of your yarn stash and all of that. But he's like, if we're going to be traveling around, you really got to limit yourself to two totes. 
two plastic totes of yarn because we can't, we, you know, it, it, you gotta, you just gotta. <laughs> I feel bad for the man. I mean, everywhere you look, there is yarn or something. And I mean, I've acquired a little bit more than I thought. But then again, you know, I, I think that's part of it. You know, us, us crafters, we just, we're not secure unless we have our stash. So, yeah. Anyway, so work is marching on. Work is work. Called me to work last night. I'm like, mm, no, I need to rest. I was thinking, this is me thinking, this is my poor brain. Um, I really thought this was last weekend where I picked up Saturday and Sunday. And so I thought I had already picked up an extra day this week. No, this is Labor Day weekend where I was, I only worked Saturday and I was off Sunday. So here I was thinking yesterday they texted me. Of course, to be fair, I'd just gotten out of bed. I hadn't even hardly gotten my eyes open. And I was like, oh, but I've already worked an extra day this week. I don't want to work another one. And so my bad. It's like I, and sometimes I worry about myself because I, I don't know what day of the week it is. And I just little memory lapses like that. That's like, you know, I'm still, I still know it's September. I know today's Labor Day. You know, I, I, I am oriented to time, but I'm not oriented to time. And that disorientation makes me feel kind of uneasy at times. You know, how you think it's one day of the week and it's really another. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But anyway, so work is work. It is still, still work. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that. Talked about the weather, talked about the crafting projects, talked about the move. What else am I missing? Yarnivore new theme. It's fall, y'all. I'm going to make a separate video for it. Um, just keep your, your thoughts and your prayers on my fellow yarn boards. It seems like everyone is uh, either dropping, uh, not dropping out, but kind of dropping down or being less active. And, you know, I try in the beginning, I, I tried to set a pace for myself that was doable, you know, and, and I guess some of them are having some difficulties, uh, you know, health wise and keeping everything up. And so just keep the yarnivores in your thoughts. Um, we all got something going on. I mean, I'm very grateful and thankful that mine is just work stress and moving and, you know, it's my own self-imposed stress. It's not illness or other circumstances or anything like that. And so I am thankful and I'm thankful, grateful for the peace that I have amidst my chaos. Um, I'm just, I'm grateful. So, um, and thank you all. Thank you all for viewing and watching and remaining a part of my, my community. I'm going to have to stop soon because my throat is I'm getting I'm getting a scratchy throat so anyway if you like these videos please like share subscribe pass it to a friend I'm slowly climbing in the numbers not that numbers matter to me but um the fact that it's getting out there to different people that's what matters to me you know it matters that someone cares about what I have to say um and that I can be helpful or whatever that that's my goal is to be helpful um, and to provide something that people need. Um, you know, my, my tutorials may be few and far between, but ultimately that and the travel videos are m my goals for this, um, for this channel, you know, just to provide entertainment for you and something useful. So Thank you all. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be in about five minutes for me.
I'm going to see if I can't get rid of the scratchy throat. But anyway, the next one will be It's Fall, y'all. So thanks for watching.